Uh, good morning. Uh, first, I'm going to start by reading a quote. I'm reading a novel by uh, Alistair MacLean. And one detective says to another, I should say that I'm expressing an intention, or at least a hope. Um, there are charts that we use in my work, uh, developed by Martin Sage. You can go to his website, and they're there for you to print out. Uh, and years ago on his chart, and I still use that particular chart, uh, what we look at is how you come onto the planet, what you come onto the planet with. And you know, we come onto the planet with a tremendous amount of intention. And what we learn is this thing called hope. Uh, and that's what I want to address today. Intention is uh, one of the little bits of data that we throw out there from time to time is how you know a person's true intention is by the result that they create. And there's no knowing why that is. So if you look and see if somebody says, oh, my intention is to be a multimillionaire, and they've got 34 cents in their pocket, or there's something standing between their intention, what they think their intention is, and what their intention truly is. And uh, that we deal with in a course called Time and Money, but that's a, a different thing that I want to talk about today. Uh, hope is uh, below the line. I know it was the last thing in Pandora's box, or at least I think I know that uh, from Sunday school. So that's years of... And I don't really follow the Bible, as I think most of you probably know. And that hope is an odd thing. Um, I've said for years, I live uh, in a fairly Republican, fairly Christian part of the world. And a lot of the people that uh, I know hope they're going to heaven. And they hope if they do things right, and they do things right in this lifetime, then they're rewarded with this eternal, um, blissful existence, which would drive me absolutely mad. I, I think we've talked about that as well. But it's almost the definition of hope. Uh, nobody knows what's going to happen after they die. Nobody. Sorry. Unless they've died and come back. And um, I've met a few of those people. <laughs> but uh, at any rate, what people are hoping is that uh, they, that their theory is right and they get to go to heaven, but that abs absolutely excludes me because I don't fall within the parameters of their theory. Uh, a few years ago, uh, two men came to my class. One had become a Hare Krishna, one had become a, a Sikh, and the Hare Krishna called the Sikh one day and said, we have to have lunch today, it has to be today. They had lunch. He said, what's up? And he said, we've both been searching for this elusive thing called enlightenment. I haven't found it. If you have, you would have called me, so I know you haven't found it. He said, so, what today is, is the day that we start planning for our next lifetime. Hope. Okay. Like I said, it's a funny thing. It keeps a lot of people from living their lives. Or some people live their lives because of it, which is interesting. A lot of people have, um, I'm not going to get into that there. All I'm going to say is there's intention, there's hope. There are two different phenomena, and I like the quote from Alistair McLean's book. Have a fun day, www.micpeakperformance.com.